All right, we got the brand new Sony ZV-1F vlog camera. Let's check it out. Excited, probably shouldn't do that. All right, here we go. <gasps> Ooh, it's so tiny. Show it to the camera. Ooh, there it is. Ooh la la. There you go, we got the fixed 20 millimeter prime lens at F2. Flip out screen. We got the mic on top. We got the hot shoe or the cold shoe for that matter. We've got essentially the same buttons as the ZV-1 on the top and in the back. And it's just, it's so light. All right, we got the battery just like the ZV-1. We got the USB-C cable to charge and to live stream with the camera. Very nice. And uh, what's in here? A little mystery packet. Oh, <laughs> this is the, uh, the windscreen to attach to the camera to reduce wind sound on the mic. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a serious windscreen right there. Looks like a wig. Yeah, let's actually take out the windscreen because uh, <laughs> it just looks funny to me. <laughs> okay, it's still good. Camera is fine. It's fine. Yeah, it still works. All right, now let's talk about the specs. The Sony ZV-1F is a 4K camera with a one inch sensor and a fixed 20 millimeter wide angle lens. And yes, that's full frame equivalent, very nice, which is ideal for vlogging because when it comes to vlogs, wider is better. The camera will shoot at a fixed aperture at f2.0, so awesome to have that blurry background and pretty much all the similar features found in the Sony ZV-1 and the ZV-E10. Features like background defocus, product showcase, face priority auto exposure, soft skin effect function, and of course, live stream with a single USB cable. But with the ZV-1F, there are new additions which makes this camera really ideal for all types of content creators. Features like Shot Mark, which allows you to add shot marks to your clips and export your favorite parts directly to your smartphone in 15, 30, or 60 second increments. There's also a self-timer countdown for a video recording. There's also a slow-mo function and hyperlapse function to shoot smooth video at speeds at five times slower or up to 60 times faster for all types of video creation. And probably one of my favorite things about the Sony ZV-1F is the price. This camera only costs $4.99, which really makes this a very budget-friendly 4K camera for first-time content creators, TikTokers, YouTubers, vloggers, travelers looking for a small, compact camera, and really anyone just ready to step up from creating content from their smartphone to creating higher quality content on an actual 4K camera. All right, so as you see, there is no filter in front of the lens and uh, I want to be able to shoot at f2 or an aperture just as low and so uh, so yeah I found this really cool filter uh, that you can attach because there is a filter thread in front of the lens now now you can get step up rings if you want to but I think that's ridiculous because it'll like overshadow the size of the ZV-1F. But yeah, so we're gonna attach this little small VND filter that I found and uh, shoot some stuff at f2.0. All right, well, I was gonna do a test with the VND filter, but Jenna stole it. I need a camera that I can just throw in my yoga pants pocket. That's all I care about. I want it to be good quality and I want it to be able to be compact and small. And this is, honestly, this is it. This is checking off all of the boxes. Another feature that I'd really love is the windscreen because yes, you know, sometimes I want to make sure that I have great audio, but I don't want to have an additional microphone. And just tossing on this windscreen, you're going to get still incredible audio built into the camera. And that's a plus. Definitely one of the things that a lot of times when I film on my phone, you know, it might look great, but the audio is just absolutely terrible because it's so windy. So being able to have not only good 4K quality, but having great audio, extremely important. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Thanks for filming me that. I don't, have to, I don't have to say it now. I don't have to say anything. <laughs> I was just rambling. I was just gonna film some behind the scenes of Bureau uh, for Jenna, but yeah, I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna leave that in because I don't want to do that segment. Thank yeah, you no, for doing the work for me. Like, I film a lot on my phone and when I'm outside, the audio is terrible. Yeah. And this has been my favorite, like at least the original ZV-1 has been my favorite because of this little windscreen. It's a huge difference, it makes and, a huge difference. And now that it's a, a wider field of view, like, <gasps> Right, like vlogging on the go. I know. On demand. It's so great. And now like I'm getting more into vertical content. So just being like, doop, flipping it, vertical content, wider field of view, it's perfect. You have to make that sound though. That doop, doop. Doop. That's how you activate the vertical. Yeah, it's, they don't put that in the brief, but boop. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, you ever like do a screen grab from a video? Yeah, and it's yeah. always like, it's not, the right focus or whatever. Jenna made a good point about product showcase using that feature to make your thumbnails because you know kind of search through our timeline to be like oh what's a what's a good thumbnail I don't know I don't want to take a photo but with product showcase on because it'll focus on the product and not our eyes 
that'll be your thumbnail. And you can also now do the markings. You so you can do I forget what it's actually called. Uh, shot mark, mark shot, shot mark. Mark, it's right here, this little feature over here. Basically, what it does is that it takes, um, well, it depends if you want either a 15 second or 30 second or even 60 second clip of what you just recorded on your camera and send that specific clip to your phone. Yeah, you can let, leave like a little mark, which is pretty cool. So you can mark like, okay, this is good. I was actually testing it out earlier. So oh, did go, you? Yeah, if you said, oh, oh boy, it's trash can. So let's watch back this clip. Okay. So we'll hit play. You can hit on. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's easy. See right here, the S1? Yep. So here's where you can add shot mark. So, you're like, okay, add shot mark. So you can add S1. You can keep going. Add another shot mark. And yeah, you can just keep adding shot marks. Oh, that is clips. so cool. That is really cool. And I, th oh, I guess what's really cool about this camera is that just it makes all those features easy, easily accessible, like just touching the menu screen and you have like quick access menu buttons and you can do a swipe up to open the <gasps> function menu. Yes. So swipe that bad boy. Swipe up, bam. Look at that, boom. <sighs> then you can access everything. You don't have to flip the camera around or any of that stuff. Like you could just set your camera, do the touch operation on the screen, boom. Oh, this isn't mine, this is yours. It is mine, don't toss it. Look, wait, look how cute they are. Look, look at that. Look at them, little friends. I wanna put like a little, um, like a little clip, like you know how you would put in like, like you ever see like dogs with like a little bow and like the little oh, hair? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm gonna put a bow in mine. <laughs> that's a really funny idea. Is it? it. Or is it. it the heat that's getting it's to my brain? It's probably the heat. We should, we should probably get back We're to going work. Inside. You know, we gotta get back to work. And this is us working. Actually, this is a clip from an episode of The Lowdown featuring the new Sony ZV-1F, so definitely check it out, link down below. But also the audio that you're hearing right now is coming from the onboard mic of the camera. I really wanted to show you how the audio sounds like because even though I would never really use the onboard mic of a camera, the audio is still usable and you can totally use it in a pinch. In fact, the onboard mic can actually be used as a voiceover microphone. And so, yeah, if you want to do some voiceovers, then you can just simply use the onboard mic of the Sony ZV-1F. And if you want to hear what the audio sounds like when you're vlogging outside... Hey, Jenna. Hey, how's this, it going? This is the first time I'm actually using the camera. No, it's not. No, well, second time. Well, first time vlogging with it. It's so light. Like, it is I can light. I this up all day like this. What does yours look like? White. Ooh, look at yeah. that. Look at that hair. It's so cute. Very I know. Cute. Look at this. Like a... Get some room for... Jobs. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to make it look like you got a little... <laughs> <laughs> that did not work. It's too bright, I can't see. Yeah, too bright. <laughs> and since we're doing voiceovers, I may as well show you some clips that I shot with the Sony ZV. One F. Yes, the camera may be geared towards more for entry level content creators, but like with any camera, when used right, the ZV One F can shoot some really cinematic quality video. Like all these clips were shot in 4K at 24 frames per second, and I shot all of this handheld using active mode stabilization, along with that variable ND filter to control exposure. And honestly, I think all these clips look really good, and it's footage that I could totally mix in with my other Sony cameras. Also, in terms of photography, the ZV One F does not shoot raw photos, just JPEGs. I know, I know but it's one of those compromises that make the Sony ZV-1F a more affordable camera. But at 17 megapixels, that's still plenty fine for social media. In fact, here's a picture of a dude on a paddleboard. Here's a picture of some dude named Tyler. Here's a picture of my watch. And here's a picture of your mom. Oh, we're oh, we are We are rolling. We are we are rolling. Okay, so we... Whoop, it's a little whoop. dark. Is it a little dark? Yeah. And it is a little dark. Good, I'm gonna scoot oh, in, so I'm not just... Is distort, that better? Distort, distort. Hi, right, welcome to another episode of The Lowdown. Hey. <laughs> okay, so uh, we just played around with the ZV-1F. We even filmed an episode of The Lowdown talking about it. But uh, what are our first thoughts? Our first impressions of the camera so far? Lightweight. Right? It's super lightweight, compact, very similar to the ZV-1 as far as like size goes. But instead of a, uh, a zoom lens, we have a fixed lens at 20 millimeters. It's perfect because I'm always like vlogging and I feel like we were, you know, having each other in the video. And it was the perfect focal length that we could all be in of the shot. Yeah, autofocusing, obviously very good. You got your zoom rocker. Uh, there's also a cool feature with the ZV-1F called the step zoom. And instead of like zooming like all the way from its full focal length to using clear image zoom, you can actually uh, activate the step zoom button. And if you want to zoom in uh, halfway through, you can, or all the way through, you totally can, just like that. So I found that really, really helpful. Yeah, I really like the touchscreen. I feel like there's a lot more things that you can do from the touchscreen. So if you are filming yourself, you can just be like, boop, 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 boop. 
That's the official sound. Remember, we changed it? Yeah. <laughs> so that you don't have to be messing with, like, where's the menu button? Where's the function button? It's basically all on the screen, which makes it really, really easy. Yeah, uh, and the fact that you can control it, like, right from the front of the camera, um, you can do the swipe up feature on the screen, which, you know, that'll open up all the, the function menu. So, yeah, so further control without having to turn the camera around and going through the menu. You can just control it you know, right from the front, which is really nice. My battery has also been pretty good. I mean, I've been using this all day and I feel like the battery life has been pretty great. Yeah. Unless this isn't my camera. Like, I think it's been, I think something maybe, charged maybe it. Maybe you got, maybe got a different camera. <laughs> <laughs> now you talked about the, uh, the, the windscreen, how that was very important, right? Yes. So I, well, I say I used to do, but I do a lot of like traveling, a lot of stuff where I'm outside. And I like this because this does have a really great and reliable built in like microphone and the audio is great. But the problem I feel like that I come into when I'm using my phone to film is the audio is trash. If it's windy, it's terrible. But this windscreen is a solution where you don't have to use an external mic and it also blocks the wind and it's really cute. It's like hair, it's like a troll doll hair. So they did make these ones, it feels like a long haired version. <laughs> but honestly, like this is such a game changer. It's one of my favorite features when using like a small compact vlogging camera. Yeah. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, this is another ZV camera. Like, why should I get it? Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. If you have like cinema cameras, you probably won't need it. Or you might. Here's why. It's easy to operate. This can be a really good studio camera just to set it in the corner of your of your desk and just start recording right then and there. You can live stream with it using the USB port. Uh, no need for um, uh, a video capture card or software. Just plug it in. You're ready to go. Um, and also, again, just super easy to use. Now, there are a couple things that you should know that's, that, that makes this camera different from the ZV-1. Obviously, you got the fixed lens, but also there is no internal ND. Correct. No internal ND. However, we've got a filter thread in front of the lens now. And it has a weird filter thread size. It's, uh, what is it, 40? 40.5. 40.5. I found this filter over here. Uh, here's a B-roll shot of Jenna attaching the filter on said lens. And yeah, it just uh, it's a great way to reduce the, uh, the exposure. And I honestly like it better in the front. I do too. Right? I, I like it because like I said, like kind of messing around with the different settings is like not really the best, but just being able to quickly adjust that and like, you know, make it make it lighter, make it brighter. It was much easier, especially if you're on the go vlogging. It just, I feel like was better. There's also a self timer feature where Ooh. I can put on the three second self timer. I can click, well, the settings are wrong. I can click that, have time to set up the shot. You hear it. You don't see it. And be like, oh, and then it starts. I feel like that's something if you're making TikToks and you're trying to time it with, you know, like oh, maybe yeah. like the sound, I feel like that would be really convenient instead of just like pushing start and then running. So, yeah. Yeah. Convenient. That looked, my settings were yeah. wrong. And then, and then the, there's a shot mark feature where you can like, yeah, select 15 seconds or 30 seconds or even 60 second clips from uh, your camera. Like you don't have to send the entire clip to your phone. You can just grab those little clips and send them to your phone for TikTok and Reels and all that stuff. So that's a really cool feature. I'm constantly using the Sony Imaging Edge app, which connects your cameras to your phone. So with that, you can act, yeah, like he said, you can use the Shot Lab and you can send those quick little clips to your phone so that you can upload to social. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I dig it's pretty it. Cool. I Me dig too. it. Also check out Jenna's video. Oh yeah, I've got one probably. She's got a video. <laughs> <laughs> or we're probably we're combining footage, it's I guess. We don't you really can, know what's gonna happen. We're just filming things. We're just I do I do like this though. It is cute. You got the white one, I got the black one. Cute. Which do you, which do you like better? The white one. I actually don't. I like both of them. The white one is definitely cute. We need product though. showcase. We do. Cover your face. I, yeah, there you go. Sorry. That's I'm filming with the A7S3. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> do you want a thumbnail? Okay, we can do a thumbnail. No, I mean like I oh. can physically take a picture. My shoulder hurts. I got hurt putting my pants on today. <laughs> we're, we're, just, we're just falling apart. We're falling apart. We're gonna have to replace this with younger Gen Z. Now you might be thinking, where does a ZV-1F fit into the entire line of Sony cameras? Well, let me give you a little lesson. On the very top, you have your Sony cinema line. You have your Sony Venice cameras, you have the FX9, FX6, and even the FX3. Then you have your full frame mirrorless hybrid cameras. Cameras like the Sony Alpha 1, Sony A7R4, A7S3, you know, those really high end hybrid cameras. And then underneath that, you have your entry level full frame cameras. Cameras like the Sony Alpha 7C, the A7 IV, or the 
the a7 III. And then below that, you have your APS-C cameras, cameras like the Sony a6600, the a6100, and even the Sony ZV-E10, which is on the bottom of the Sony APS-C camera line. And then below that, you have your Sony ZV series, the Sony ZV-1, and again, the Sony ZV-E10. The ZV-E10 is like the bridge between point and shoot camera and the, the APS-C camera. And then below that, you have the Sony ZV-1. F, which is really meant to be a bridge between smartphone content creation and Sony APS-C content creation. Like this is the camera to get if you're ready to step up from creating content from your smartphone. I get it, it's not a camera for everyone. And in fact, if you are a high-end user, this camera probably isn't for you. But if you're someone looking to step up your content creation game other than just using your smartphone, the Sony ZV-1F is probably the camera to get. Also at 20 millimeters, that, that's like the ideal focal length for vlogs, right? Like wider is obviously better, but uh, but 20 millimeters is totally wide. In fact, the ZV-1F might be a really good studio camera. Let's find out. All right, so right now uh, I'm filming with a Sony a7S III with a 60 and 35G master lens, a $5,000 camera setup. I'm gonna set the focal length to 20 millimeters just so we can have a fair equivalent. Oh, it is at 20 millimeters. Very nice, so this is 20 millimeters, Sony a7S III, 1635 G Master Lens, and now I'm going to attach the ZV-1F and compare the footage. Okay, so now we've got the Sony ZV-1F all set up, and this is what it looks like. I, I tried to match it up as, as best I could with the a7S III, same audio record levels. I'm not using any picture profiles at all. This is what the shot looks like right now, and it actually looks pretty decent. Not too bad, not too shabby. The color tones look really nice. I love having the big record lamp just to let me know that I am indeed recording and it just looks it looks really cool. In fact, here, let me, let me go film so that you can see what it looks like. Check it out, there it is. There's the Sony ZV-1F recording. Got a big record lamp over here also, as well as an indicator on the screen to let you know that you are recording. I got my mic all set up, my lights, and uh, it's such a small setup, I love it. And it looks good too. That's awesome. Like no joke, this is actually could be a really good studio camera just to set it and forget it. And the fact that it can be charged with a USB-C cable, like just plug it in to your computer permanently or to your monitor and just have infinite power. That's crazy cool. Like I can see a lot of people using this camera for live streaming and with the USB-C cable, of course you can live stream. So I could see this camera being perfect for, for streamers that want to stream all day. Not too shabby. In fact, let's go ahead and compare the footage between the Sony ZV-1F and the a7S III. Here they are side by side. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the footage. All right, well, that is the Sony ZV-1F vlog camera. If you have any questions about the camera, let me know in the comments below. Also, watch Jenna's channel. She made a video about that because, uh, well, you should. And what else? Is the audio gonna be okay? It's very loud in here. It is, we'll see, we'll find out. Not after we do it, but. Um... Make sure you like this video because Sydney works very, very, very hard. I've witnessed it and it's, it's a lot, so. I'm sweating, like right now. Yeah, me too. Okay, all right, bye.